this morning. So thank you very much. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, and uh, I want to thank Senator Cardin and the entire delegation for their leadership. Uh, they have been on this from the first moments. Uh, and as the senator mentioned, and I'll say more about this in a moment, we'll be needing to work together uh, to make sure that uh, we uh, render all of the support that is needed at the federal level. I want to recognize the leadership of Governor Moore, who was already wide awake and hard at work when I reached him in the middle of the night. Uh, we just had a very informative briefing with his extraordinary leadership team. And I was moved to see the partnership uh, between uh, state as well as county and uh, city personnel uh, led by the county executive and the mayor working hand in glove uh, with us and with our sister federal agencies. And if there's one thing I have to say today, it is a note of gratitude for the extraordinary and courageous work of the first responders, uh, some of whom are in that cold water right now, some of whom are from right here, some of whom have traveled in to render mutual aid, all of whom are responding with extraordinary professionalism and whose work has already saved lives. And to those uh, state, county, and local responders, I would add uh, the extraordinary work of the United States Coast Guard. We should also recognize that this is an excruciating day for several families who went to bed last night uh, having it be a normal night and woke up today to news that no one wants to receive. They are hoping and praying, and we are hoping and praying with them. We are all putting our arms around the community of Baltimore, and uh, that, uh, that is true for all of this country. I've even heard from counterparts uh, as far away as the United Kingdom uh, reaching out to express their support to the people of Baltimore. As has been mentioned, I've uh, been in close contact uh, with uh, uh, the governor, the mayor, county leadership, and the congressional delegation. Uh, and as President Biden has made clear, the federal government will provide all of the support that they need for as long as it takes. This is no ordinary bridge. This is one of the cathedrals of American infrastructure. It has been part of the skyline of this region for longer than many of us have been alive. So the path to normalcy will not be easy. It will not be quick. It will not be inexpensive. But we will rebuild together. In order to make sure that happens, the president's plan is to work with everyone here uh, in order to rebuild this bridge and reopen this port, including our readiness as a department to approve emergency funding as soon as we receive that request. Meanwhile, our Maritime Administration will help with port, harbor, and supply chain operations. Uh, our Federal Highway Administration will assist when it comes to the bridge itself and any ways that we can help ease roadway congestion for residents and commuters who can no longer uh, use this major thoroughfare. Uh, the Federal Aviation Administration is even involved, uh, working to keep the airspace uh, above the bridge clear for emergency personnel. FIMSA, our Pipeline and Hazardous Material Safety Administration, is on the scene to help with any hazmat issues. And our newly stood up freight office is already at work preparing for supply chain impacts that we know are coming because of the importance of this port, not just to the Baltimore region, uh, but really to the entire United States uh, economy. We're going to be working closely with the National Transportation Safety Board as they lead their independent investigation uh, and with the Coast Guard as they continue operations in the water. I've also spoken with Secretary Mayorkas, who's working to ensure that all DHS assets are integrated. So in many ways, our work is just beginning to rebuild this bridge and deal with impacts in the meantime to reopen this port and deal with supply chain impacts in the meantime. But today we are most acutely focused on the emergency operations underway uh, and on the families that have been impacted. I have no doubt that we will rebuild together and that Baltimore will come back stronger than ever before.